you've gone your whole life having to deal with figuring out how to get through that week of the month, just flowing at it going and going through all of these different types of pads and products and you're just sick of it. And now it's like, okay, there's gotta be an answer out there. What can I do? I'm hearing about reusable pads. I heard that they might do a good job, but I don't know how to pick one out. So let's get into the video. My name is Michaela. I own a store called Soko Studio and we make and sell reusable menstrual pads. Also, the lighting in here is kind of all over the place, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. I'm working on changing my background and my setup and where the lighting is. Bear with me until we get to that point. Thank you. Today, we are going to talk about reusable menstrual pads for heavy flow. So maybe you have a super heavy flow and disposable pads are just not cutting it for you. You can't use a cup or a tampon, or maybe you can, but you still need a really good pad to go with it. So you've heard that maybe reusable menstrual pads might be a good option for you because you've heard that maybe they absorb a lot, they're naturally made, they're safer for you and the environment, and in the long run, cost you so much less money than buying disposable pads every month. But you are worried about how a cloth pad can hold all of your super heavy flow fluid and you're wondering how can that actually work for me and on top of that you have no idea how to pick out a reusable menstrual pad for yourself for a heavy flow so today we are going to talk about the specific fabrics that you need to look for when you're ordering reusable menstrual pads as well as which pads from my shop were designed for a super heavy flow so maybe you have pcos which can have a super light flow or a super heavy flow fibroids, thyroid issues, um, pelvic trauma, or even just, you know, genetics gave you a super heavy flow. And now you need a pad to handle it. You've gone your whole life having to deal with figuring out how to get through that week of the month, just flowing at it going and going through all of these different types of pads and products, and you're just sick of it. And now it's like, okay, there's gotta be an answer out there what can i do i'm hearing about reusable pads i heard that they might do a good job but i don't know how to pick one out okay so before we can get into the details of what to look for when picking out a pad for heavy flow is to determine whether or not your period is actually considered heavy think about your heaviest day while you're on your period for me it's day two my day two period i actually have to change my pad at least once an hour so if you are changing your pad every one to two hours on your heaviest day, then your period is considered a heavy flow. If you are changing your pad on your heaviest day that you consider your heaviest day, and you're not changing your pad, but every four to six hours, that is not considered a super heavy flow. That is considered a regular flow and you can actually wear any pad of any different nature in the reusable line and those will be fine for you. The first most important thing we need to discuss are the fabrics. Fabrics play a huge factor in determining if it's going to be able to handle a super heavy flow or not. So there are seven different fabrics that we're going to discuss very briefly and just kind of run right through them. I advise that you write them down on a little sticky note so you don't forget. So first, the first fabric we're gonna go over is the backing. So the back of a pad, which is the side where it goes against your underwear, needs to be a waterproof fabric, okay? You don't want this backing to be cotton or anything of the nature of something that a fluid can just go right through. I do not recommend that you get pads that have anti-pill fleece on the back for super heavy flows. While it may work on your regular days or just in, you know any other day of your period, it's fine. But on those super heavy days, I highly recommend that you get a waterproof backing or a liquid proof backing. This is the most important fabric on your pad. Two fabrics that you can look for would be um, waterproof Zorb or PUL, which is a polyurethane laminate. The PUL is often used in reusable diapers for babies, 
to keep the outside shell dry. Now let's talk about the hidden layer of a pad that you need to look for. The most common fabric that makers use inside of their pads is usually flannel or basic cotton. And when it's basic flannel or basic cotton, in order to make the absorbency a lot more, they have to add in two, three, four, five, six layers of that stuff because it's super thin and it really doesn't absorb a whole lot. Now, while the, the liquid may just go right through it and, it and it does suck it up, it doesn't suck up a lot. So you kind of want to stay away from pads that have a hidden layer of flannel or cotton. Those two are kind of just hit or miss on your regular days. The hidden layers that you do want to look for are hemp, bamboo, or my ultimate and personal favorite, Zorb. Bamboo can soak up a lot of fluid, especially if you use the super heavy kind. It's natural, it's soft, and it does a really good job. A lot of diapers use bamboo inside of them in the hidden layer, also in the soaker system, because once, once that bamboo has been prepped and washed enough times, it gets better over time and continues to absorb really well. And it's a natural fiber, so if that's something that's very important to you to make sure that you are using real natural fibers, bamboo or hemp is going to be your best option. Hemp is in the exact same category as bamboo. It's going to absorb nicely. It's a natural fabric. Now let's talk about Zorb. Okay, so what exactly is Zorb? Zorb is one of those fabrics that is completely free of chemicals such as the ladies, but the, the ladies, I'm not really sure how to say that, PFOAs, PFOs, lead, dioxins, heavy metals, and it's hypoallergenic. It's a super innovative fabric that has been designed to capture fluid and evenly distribute it all throughout the piece of fabric. Zorb was designed to absorb 10 times its own weight in under two seconds. And it will soak up up to 20 times faster than that bamboo and hemp that we discussed earlier. Zorb was actually designed for products such as diapers and reusable pads. Two layers of Zorb can replace up to eight layers of flannel, six layers of French terry, or five layers of fleece. Zorb is also an American made fabric. Let's talk real quick about the fiber content of Zorb. So Zorb is actually an optimum blend of fabrics such as cotton, bamboo, tinsel, that are interspersed on a polyester nylon. The kind that we use in our store has also been infused with Silvadur. Silvadur are actually silver ions that have been infused into the fabric. What do those silver ions do? Well, first of all, they've been proven and tested to be safe against the skin, and it's actually an antimicrobial ion that inhibits bacteria growth, fungi and algae, controls bad odors, the last piece of fabric that I want you to consider whenever you're purchasing reusable pads for a super heavy flow is Minky. Now, while Minky is not like a, a very absorbent fabric, you wanna look for this one on the top layer. Now, a lot of people have their own opinions on Minky. I personally love it. My period is super heavy and I love those Minky pads on my, on my heaviest days. For some reason, the way that it helps spread through the, the fabric and spread down into the pad, even though it's a polyester blend, it just works so well. And a lot of people can attest to this. So now let's talk about those seven fabrics one more time. Let's list them out. Number one, you wanna look for a super liquid resistant backing, whether it's PUL or a waterproof layer. The two layers that you want to look for that you wanna be very weary of are cotton and flannel. You wanna make sure there's at least four to eight layers of those if you really like the pad inside the pad, four to eight layers, because that's gonna be the only thing that really helps you out. Top three hidden layers you wanna look for are Zorb, Bamboo, or Hemp. And then lastly, Minky. So keep those in mind as we go on about our shopping sprees to fill up our stash of reusable pads. Now let's talk about gusher pads for just a minute. A lot of makers make gusher pads. I do not personally have them in my shop. Um, basically what they are 
is in, and they are some of the larger pads. They are designed with several layers from the back to the front. And on the front are the slits that go across all the way down. And inside those slits are even more layers. And what, what they are designed to do is to capture blood clots or to spread that super heavy flow all throughout these different layers in the pad. They are awesome. I will give you that. Now they are very expensive. It's kind of like the top dog of heavy flow pads. And they're very hard to make. They take a lot of time to make. They take a lot of fabric. They're very expensive to make and they are very expensive to buy. So I personally can't provide them in my shop, but there are so many makers out there who definitely have them. And I recommend at least having one of those in your stash just to see how you like it. Now let's talk about blood clots because I know that's probably one of your biggest concerns. I have blood clots. You probably got blood clots. Everybody probably has one or two here and there. Your biggest concern is when you're flowing very heavily, you do get clots. What happens to those clots when you're using a reusable pad? Well, I'll tell you. Like I said, the gusher pads are good at capturing those. But on any other pad, nothing special is gonna happen. You're literally going to have to knock it into the toilet or get some toilet paper and wipe it off. They're not gonna be magically sucked up and absorbed inside your pad. They're not gonna make them disappear. They're not gonna be like, oh, you have a clot. Let's just get rid of it. No, you know, that's like, just not gonna happen. I mean, they're, they're fabric. It's just gonna land on here like, here's a clot. You're just gonna have to right into the toilet. <laughs> so clots, you just gotta deal with them. There's nothing really you can do about clots. It's the same thing with disposable pads. They just kind of sit on top and you wrap it up and you put it in the trash. That's what a lot of people do throw their blood clots in the trash. Some people do flush them down. I wish more people did, but you know, it's kind of hard to do, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Now we're gonna talk about the different pads in my shop that I recommend for super heavy flow. But before we get started, here is a very big disclaimer. Every single pad in my shop, I designed to work for me. I personally tried all of my patterns, designs, and fabrics until I found the perfect mixture and basically recipe of the sizing with the fabrics, with the way that they work for each day of my period, especially the heavy days. Every pad in my shop can hold anywhere from a quarter cup to a full cup of fluid. That is a lot. Now we're gonna talk about exactly how much blood do you actually bleed even if you have a super heavy period. Okay, a lot of people are probably going to feel like this is crazy, there's no way this is true. I promise you that I didn't believe it either. I was like, there's just no way. Like I literally bleed this much on my period. You guys, we don't bleed this much even if you have what you feel like is a Niagara Falls period. On average, people who menstruate fill up approximately 70 to 80 milliliters of fluid, which is about the equivalent of a double shot of espresso. That's it. Now, if you do have super heavy bleeding, like mine, you can lose from between 80 to 200 milliliters of blood per period, but some people can lose even more than that. So the point of this is, if you're only bleeding about a double shot of espresso, there's no way that one pad needs to hold a whole lot, right? Because it's spread out through several days. And one of our pads, every single pad in our shop has been designed to hold specifically about a half a cup of fluid, which is a lot a lot of fluid, and you normally won't even bleed all of that in one day. The fabrics that I've chosen for our pads in our store are American made, and we've only chosen to go the route of the highest quality fabrics that were designed and made for menstrual products. So most of my pads in my shop are going to be super absorbent all the way down from the extra small to the 18 inch that we have. Every single one of our pads have the same three layers. We do not have pads that have four, five, six, eight layers inside of them 
because they don't need it. The fabrics that we use on the inside can hold up to the maximum, the maximum capacity of what we need it to hold. It can also hold the minimum amount. So there's no reason to continue adding layers and just feel like you're wearing a diaper because no matter what, it, it wouldn't make sense to keep adding layers and filling the, the pad up so full and heavy that you, you feel like you're wearing a giant heavy diaper. We want our pads to feel super trim, comfortable, and hold up to the maximum absorbency, and we only need one layer to do that. The first product we're gonna go over when it comes to heavy flows are what we call ILPs, and that stands for interlabial pads, and this is what they are. They are tiny, little, petal-shaped pads that look like this, okay? And you're probably thinking, are you kidding me? You just showed me a little piece of fabric. That's your heaviest pad? <laughs> Actually, yeah, it, it is. So I'm going to tell you how these work. It's so cool. It's going to blow your mind. A lot of you already know about these and what they are and how they work. But I'm sure there's going to be some of you who, you know, need an explanation and we're going to discuss it. So we have three different kinds. We have the overnight, okay? We have the cotton and then we have our supers, okay? The overnight is made out of Zorb, the cotton is made out of cotton velour, and our supers are also made out of Zorb. Now, the way that these work is gonna blow your mind. The name of these is ILPs, interlabial pads, and that's exactly what they are. They are late little pads designed to tuck between your labia. Now, these have multiple purposes. You can use these for your super light period or your super heavy period or somewhere in between, even if it's just discharge or light urinary incontinence. These are multi-purpose. I cannot keep these in stock. These sell out faster than anything else in my store. Everybody loves these. So let me tell you how they work. I have a video and I'm gonna link it right here on exactly how to put these on or the different folds. But just to kind of give you a quick overview, there's so many different ways you can fold it. And here's one way you fold it like this and then fold it in half again. And you tuck it just like this between your labia, okay? And what this is gonna do, especially when you're bleeding very heavily, is you're going to put this on with a pad, okay? And this is going to design your pad to last longer for you. It's going to spread your blood out evenly amongst the pad so that way all of your super heavy flowing isn't just right here and it spreads it out so that your pad will last a little bit longer on you. There's so many different ways you can wear them. You can, uh, some people just put them on like this and then this part goes around the center of you and so that it spreads this way and this way. Some people will just roll them and tuck them up in there like this. You can also, and I call them the hamburger and the hot dog rolls like this. And it's just going to push your flow centered up and down the pad. These are amazing. These are also so good for discharge if you have heavy discharge like I do. These were designed for your overnight. They're super trim, but they are our most highly absorbent fabric. These are for, you know, if you have super heavy flow, we have also got the cotton if you don't like the feeling of the Zorb. Now let's talk about our second most popular pad for heavy flow. And that, my friends, is the super pad. This is a super pad right here. We have them in so many different colors. They come in sets of two. Now let's talk about what they are designed with, okay? The back is our waterproof Zorb. So on this Zorb, you're going to get a layer where nothing can get out, plus a super thick layer of the absorbent Zorb on top of that as you're backing. So you're going to have several layers of that on the back alone, okay? On the inside of that, is our original hidden Zorb layer, okay? This layer goes next. So now you've got two layers of Zorb already. So we're talking about a good eight tablespoons right here. So this is the next layer. And then on top of that is our 3D dimple stay dry Zorb that goes like this, okay? 
So this is basically this pad, all right? And these are the layers. This piece right here is a 3D dimple, so it has a super fast retention that helps spread your blood evenly down the fabric. And it's made out of Zorb with Silvador, so it's automatically the most absorbent piece. Then you have our thick original Zorb that's gonna soak up everything else that you know got past this, if it did. Then you're gonna have another layer of Zorb here that even stops it even further. And this side is completely waterproof, completely resistant. That's our super pads. Not only that, they're measured 13 inches. They are super comfortable. You don't feel like you're wearing anything. They come in these amazing earth tone colors and they stay dry on top of that. So they're gonna wick moisture away from your skin, keeping you feeling super dry. This right here is our pumpkin, and then this one is olive. There's so many more colors to choose from. I will have a link below that shows you where you can go to find these. So the last pad that I have in my store that is our most highly absorbent, the one that tops them all, is our overnight pad. Now, I will tell you, our overnight pad looks like this, okay? It's plain Jane, however, they come in lots of different forms, okay? I also use the overnight pads during the day. They don't have to be used at night only. So the overnight pads come in two sizes, our regular size and our 18 inch size. The regular size is 14 inches. Here is a super pad compared, so you can see the difference in our super pad, okay? And the 18 inch, obviously it's just 18 inches longer. I will insert a little clip of our 18 inch compared to this. So these are made in the two sizes. Plus you can order them two different ways. You can order them in the regular style or our, what we call our double stuffed. The double stuffed Oreos, I like to call them, has two layers of the hidden Zorb instead of one. They are thicker, they do feel a, a bit stiffer, but they hold twice as much in our double stuffed than the regulars. However, the regular holds a lot, okay? So this fabric here is our overnight 3D dimple Zorb, and it is very similar to the super pads, okay? The hidden layer is our super soft antimicrobial Silvador Zorb, plus the same backing. The shape is what's different. This is why they're overnights, okay? As you can tell, all of our other pads are shaped like this. The overnights have a much wider top and bottom. So you can buy them in the regular, which has one layer, or you can buy them in the double stuffed Oreo style. These are amazing. They're so soft and comfortable. They are, they do a great job. I wear them during the day. <laughs> I also wear them at night. So those are the three items in my shop that I recommend for super heavy flow. The super pad, the overnights, and the ILPs. Now let's talk about cotton velour. Cotton velour is a very soft fabric, almost like minky. It is cotton, 80% cotton on top and 20% polyester on the back. This side is never gonna touch your skin. This is just the way that they are able to connect all of these cotton fibers by using this polyester backing in order to create the cotton velour. Okay, so it is naturally cotton touching your skin. The pads that we have in our shop that are made with cotton velour like this are an excellent alternative if you need something beyond the Zorb level and you want something much softer, okay? So if you want to try the cotton velours, they are very absorbent. In my shop, you can get them in a size from small to extra large, or you can get them in sets of three or sets of five. Now the minky pads that we have in our store, like I told you, I love minky. It's so soft. It's so much like the cotton velour. However, this part on the minky is polyester fibers, but they do an amazing job. They're super, absorbent and soft and as far as needing something that has maybe a fun print on it or a cute like design or colors 
that is also a great alternative. So one of the benefits of switching from disposable pads to reusable pads is actually the whole point of this video. You really are going to see a huge difference in how heavy your flow is when you make the switch. For some reason, your body adjusts to having natural fibers against your skin and it lightens your flow. Your flow never will return to being the same way it was if you go full time using reusables as it was when you were disposables. You've cut out all of the plastics, microplastics and chemicals from touching your skin and your body absorbing it in the cavity of your body as well as your sweat glands down there absorbing those plastics from disposables. You've stopped all that. And so now you're just touching your skin against safe fabrics and it helps tremendously with your cramping and your super heavy flow. And you're gonna find yourself feeling so much better just because you made the switch. And you're gonna realize that maybe that was all that you needed was just to switch to reusables. Now, I think one of our bigger questions is gonna be, if I'm flowing that heavy, what do I do with all my blood when it's on the pad? You've got so much blood, you bled all over your pad, now what? What do I do with this? Don't worry, I have a video all about how to wash reusable pads. I'll link it right here. But let me just give you a quick little trip tip. Get in the shower after you take your pad off and squeeze it and rinse it out in the shower. Let it go down the drain. And then you can just, once you've gotten done with that, you can just put it in your menstrual bag. Or if you don't wanna do that, don't have time to do that, just go over to the sink real quick and rinse it out in some cold water, get all of that initial soaked up blood wrung out and give it a good squeeze and then put it in your menstrual bag. And then you can wash them all at the end of your period. And the only thing that's kind of sitting in here is the water that you wrung out, but they are gonna be wet, it's fine. They will be perfectly safe until it's time to wash them in the washing machine. Now the last thing that I want to share with you when it comes to a super heavy flow is combining your reusable pads with, drum roll please, period panties. One of my favorite products. This is a pair of period panties. They look huge, but they're not, you know, these are size large from Pink at Victoria's Secret. They are so, so comfortable. And what I do is um, I will sometimes put on my overnight pad with these whenever I know like it's just so oh it's just too much to bear and I'm gonna be sleeping and I don't want to have to get up in the middle of the night I will put on some period panties just to make myself feel a little bit more secure nine times out of ten I never see that I even needed these but they just help and then you'll have these for those days on your period where your period is just kind of light flowing and you don't want to put on a pad or you don't want to put on a cup or tampon or anything so you just put these panties on because they have a waterproof lining right here and nothing's getting out of that it feels like you're just wearing a pair of underwear and you're going to be completely protected i will link some period panties that i recommend from my personal experience the ones that i've tried down in the description below okay guys that's all i have for you today please comment below if you have a super heavy period i need you guys to tell me if your period is crazy heavy too, because I hate feeling like I'm the only one who has it so bad. I know I'm not, but when other people say it, it just makes me feel like we're all doing this together. We're all struggling together. We all have this super heavy flow and we need advice, tips, help, suggestions, and products to help us get through that one week a month. So comment below, tell me what you think. Tell me if there's something else that I didn't answer or if you have any more questions. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope this helps. You're welcome to email me if you need anything personally addressed or if you have personal questions, I'm happy to help. And make sure to like my video, comment, subscribe, share it, whatever you wanna do, maybe just pick one of those, it's fine. Um, that's it guys, I'll see you next week.